welcome to the new blog for today's puzzle on bank holiday. What I actually wanted to talk more about is a criticism or a concern that solvers sometimes have when they're doing a times crossword because they say, well, won't there be words I just don't know? And, and you know, doesn't it require some level of general knowledge that's, you know, uh, that means I must have gone to private school when I was younger and, you know, I'm educated in the classics, etc. And I would argue that that's certainly no longer the case. Um, I consider myself one of the unfortunate people who, who, who never did Latin at school. So whenever I see an answer that I think has an, anything to do with Latin in it, my heart sinks. Um, but th this puzzle is an example of where, you know, I wasn't really familiar with the Latin expression that appears at seven down, but the wordplay could help me. And there are, I think, several examples in this in this puzzle of words that may not be on the tip of everybody's tongue um, and apologies for those of you who, who watch this video and think well of course I knew that, that you know everybody knows that um, but I, I, I'm not so sure you know how much how many of the general population would be familiar with with some of the words that I've left out here or at least some of the meanings um, they'll certainly be familiar with the word 26 down, but whether they'll know the Scottish context, um, I think is more questionable. Um, so let, let's just take a quick look at these, these tough answers uh, and, see, um, and see how the clue can help us. Um, so report having ingested hard drug mixture. Um, well, <laughs> It, it's one of the things that we can note from one of the earlier episodes is that we do have an instruction in the middle of the clue there. We have the having ingested hard. So that suggests that, that we need to find a four letter word for a report into which we're going to put an H for hard and we're going to end up with an answer um, or a five letter word that is a drug mixture. Now, even if you are not familiar with the answer here, I have to put an H into this peculiar string of letters, and that you know that doesn't look very hopeful. But I would argue that there is only one place that that H could go. So now I just need a four-letter report, which is B A blank G, and a report as in a you know, a report a gun makes is a bang. So I end up with this. Um, now you may not know. That this is in fact a, um, a word for a, a drug mixture but you don't necessarily have to know it in fact if someone had asked me what that word meant before having done this clue I, I'd have thought it was I think I would have known it was some sort of drug but I wouldn't have known very exactly what it was at all and that's one of the things you often find with a times crossword is that they're, they're words that sort of you know they're right on the edge of your consciousness and you just you, you just need the confidence the wordplay gives you in order to write them in. And there's another really good example here of ten across. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure that the the answer here is only found in like I don't know 18th century you know books. I think um, I've never seen this word in modern use. I've never seen it in a newspaper ever. Um, but let's let's read the clue and see what, what it's hinting at. So, intro's fifth note stopping concert. Now, the fifth note. Well, that that sounds like it's hinting at the, the letter E, i.e., A B C D E. Okay, so I've got to put an E in something, and stopping suggests that you know the E is going into a four-letter word for a concert which I think, especially given the letters we've got here, should immediately be making everyone think of the word prom, especially at this time of year. Um, so, okay, what is the answer then? Is it, is it that? That looks very odd. Is it uh, prion? No, again, it doesn't look too hopeful to me and probably Probably, I, I accept that there is some doubt here. That you, you may you may believe that the only the only word that looks like it might possibly be a word is this construction of the of the, of the answer here. 
which I think is pronounced like proem, but I'm I'm not sure. Um, and it's a bit mean of them, but we have this crossing with seven down. A stern head of inspectorate using evidence. And especially if you get a few letters, especially if you get the I at the end, you should immediately be thinking of, you know, a priori, a fortiori, you know, it, it looks like it's a Latin expression. Um, and we can see that the, the word play here looks 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 like we might be able to understand it quite quickly. That we have the A at the start, we have stern, okay, and we have head of inspectorate. Well, the head of inspectorate there looks to me like it's hinting at the letter I, and I can see that that's appearing at the end of the clue. So what I need is a nine-letter word that means stern, and the whole thing is going to be a Latin expression which, which means um, using evidence. And perhaps with with this checking O, perhaps you wouldn't need it, but you know, when I looked at this, I think it was only vaguely um, vaguely known to me this expression. But you can see again how the wordplay gives you a chance, even if you don't know and have never heard this uh, this expression before, um, and you're not a lawyer. You, you know, it, it, it doesn't necessarily matter. You can still um, extract these arcane bits of trivia from from the wordplay. Uh, I mean, 25 across. Is, is another of these where you might be left with a guess, I, I think. Um, but but let, actually, we'll, we'll do 28 across first. So, one fired nastily gutted to get sacking. Okay, well, you, the surface seems to be entirely about somebody being, you know, relieved of their employment duties. Um, but we can actually, I think, you, and using again the principles we've learned, we can, we can hone in on where the definition is here because of the expression nastily gutted. And if something's gutted, it has its innards removed. So especially if you manage to get present day at 13 down, it looks like we can put an NY at the end, being the, the external letters of the word nastily. Okay, and if that's right, it looks like we're looking for a five letter word for sacking and we need to put a three-letter word for one fired at the start. Well, again, I mean, this this, this is screaming um, the word gun, the whole, whole answer being gunny. Now, you, you may not be familiar with that. I think it's some sort of jute. Um, it's, it's a coarse fabric of some, some sort. Um, I, again, it's, it's, it's something, you know, right on the periphery of things I would consider that I know. But I would be, I think, 95% confident that was the right answer simply from the word play and a couple of the checking letters. So again, don't get disheartened. Just try and get checking letters and try and use the word play to help you. And I mean, this is another, um, another great example at 26 down. Scott's pet after losing weight. Well, I, I certainly thought about the word Ian here for, for a time. I imagine quite a few experienced solvers would have been because I, I thought the definition might be just um, Scott, i.e. the name of a Scotsman. Um, and Ian fitted, especially if you've got Gunny already. But I couldn't see how that would work with the wordplay here, which, which with the wordplay in my construction of the clue would have been pet after losing weight. So it looked like I need to take a word for weight or an abbreviate or the abbreviation W out of a word for pet. And you know, there's no um, sorry, uh, Wean, Iwan, it just did, didn't look right. Um, so after after a bit of consideration, I decided that actually I was looking for a word which was probably a Scottish word for a pet. I thought it was actually referring to, um, you know, an animal. <laughs> uh, whereas I think this, when Scottish people use pet, they are using it as a, 
an endearment. So it's like, you know, like sweetheart or something like that. So, so once I, I thought that was probably the correct way to read the clue, I was then looking for a word that means after. And that leaves me W. And the most obvious word I could think of was when. And I could see how if I took the W out of the word when, I would come up with hen. Um, and that, that looked reasonable to me, I have to say. I, I didn't quite, un, wasn't quite sure, you know, of the context in which Scottish people use it, but, but it felt good. And it also confirmed the suspicion I had about 25 cross. Uh, I am not familiar with the answer here at all. Um, but we can look at the clue and be fairly confident about how it breaks down. So we have a page turned in Hindu's curious sacred text. So it looks like a page turned in a Hindu's curious is the word play there. So it looks like I've got to put in a page turned. That sounds to me like it's turning round AP. So that would give us PA, especially with the checking letters. There's only one place that could appear in this whole, whole clue. And then it looks like I have to put an anagram of a Hindus around the edge and yeah I mean you're you're basically left with a guess here I think um, you know where can the, where can the a go we still need to put another a in well I, I think that can only go there so you're looking either at that upper Zinad which looks extremely strange or Upanishad, which, while it may not trip off the tongue, looks far more reasonable as a construction of letters that might possibly be a word. And so that's what I went for. And yeah, there we go. So I think that today's lesson is don't get disheartened or bogged down um, when doing the more you know, clues that you suspect you may not know the answer for. Persevere, use the word play, try and come up with something sensible that fits the checking letters. And, you know, you'll be surprised at how many crosswords you finish correctly um, if you go through that process. We'll see you again either tomorrow or Wednesday. Cheers.